Good morning, folks. Today we're going over a volcano, extreme weather, satellites to track it, gamma ray bursts in space, and a new micronova event discovered on a new type of star. But of course, we're starting as always with the last 24 hours on our star, and it's the same script. M-class solar flares are erupting from the large sunspot group. Most of the ejecta of the sequence is aimed southward away from the Earth, but one of the eruptions does appear to have set a slightly wider burst out into space. It was the first larger one, the M9 flare and CME event, and SOHO shows most heading south, but with a potential Earth-directed component. NOAA's endless spiral is tracking the fast and fairly dense shockwave and expects it to arrive as early as tomorrow. Wouldn't surprise me if it was sometime between tomorrow and Thursday night, actually, but the forecast low-level geomagnetic storm conditions as well from the impact will be watching closely the next two days, and not just for that shockwave, but for more flaring activity from these sunspots. Large, well-developed, more coming. This area has been flashing relatively consistently. It has produced the larger M-class solar flares, and our eyes are firmly pointed here when it comes to watching our star. Up next, Hawaii, and the eyes bottom right at the Big Island because Kilauea has roared back to life. It began yesterday before sunrise, and it marks yet another significant uptick at the Hawaiian mountain. Images coming in here from the USGS camera setups solid effusive eruption there as usual up next strong storm developing in the south china sea this one slated to slide southwest down the vietnam coastline toward ho chi minh eyes open and be safe there there's a new satellite out redefining high definition weather watching you see the detail upgrade here it's gmao and it is up and already changing how we see atmospheric dynamics up next, folks, the SVS has a new video out and informational piece on gamma ray bursts. They come from stellar explosions and merger events and consuming events as well. They are the highest energy form of light, and Earth-based telescopes and satellites tend to see at least one event every day. Some are short, some long, some weak, and some extremely strong. Learn more at the link below. And last but not least, they've discovered yet another new micronova event at a star. Once again, it is not at the kind of star they expected. The helium stars were thought to produce type 1a supernova events, but here we find a solid stamp on the new concept that actually they just shed their outer skin like so many other stars do in recurrent micro-sized nova events. This one ejected just 300 Earths of material, and the range of explosion power and progenitor star types continues expanding. They just still don't know Nova. Folks, two mini-conferences coming up at the ranch the next two months. It is a great time to come out for an event, so pick a time. Come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.